Hey, want to learn how to make a skull hover in Godot? So I found this skull model on the internet. Human skull, not cursed, good enough for me. Let's drop it into Godot here, make some cool lights. This is apparently what the kids like. All right, we've got our skull, but it's not hovering. Let's just add a script to the skull object, GD script, of course. And we just need to make a funk for process, just override process here. And we could do this with a tween or something, but let's do it with math. We'll just set position Y to be the sign of the Unix time from our system here, which is just gonna give us a float that's the number of seconds that have passed since 1970. New Year's 1970. All right, look at that guy float, perfect. Well, what if we want to change the speed? It's going awfully slow. Well, we could just introduce a new variable here. We could introduce a speed variable, which will just be a float. And I'm just gonna set it to five as a default. And the important thing here is we multiply not the entire thing, but the Unix time from system here by speed. Now, if we play it, the skull's much faster. Look at that guy go. Very nice, not haunted. It seems a little bit too jumpy to me too. What if we want to restrict its range? We can give it a range parameter and we just multiply that float on the outside of the sign. I have made it five also, but that's gonna make it even jumpier. Now, how do we make it less jumpy? We'll just uh, divide that by 10 and make it 0.5. Let's play it again and look at that. That's a beautiful floating skull. I'm very happy with that. Okay, next, what if we wanna make something that's not a skull float? I'm just gonna delete this here. Ah, huh, didn't work. Um, I'll just try again here. No! Ah!